Here's a quick introduction to the industry compatible key map available inside of Blender's preferences. So who's this key map for? Well, it's mainly targeted at people who work in heterogeneous environments, which means you might be switching applications all the time. You might be going from Maya, 3ds Max, Modo, and Unity, other applications, um, but while also switching to Blender. And um, it's also aimed at switches, people who are switching from those applications to Blender to make the transition more smooth and, and easier. And lastly, it's sort of also optimized for laptops a bit um, because you don't need the uh, numpad to use this key map, nor do you need to use the um, F keys, which are usually used for transport controls and brightness, etc. All right, so let's jump in. How does it work? The first thing you want to know, of course, is how do you navigate in the viewport? Now we do this using the Alt key, like many other 3D applications. So you hold Alt and you use the three mouse buttons to orbit, pan, or zoom. So here I'm pressing the left mouse button, then holding Alt and holding Alt and pressing the middle mouse button and dragging, and the same with the right mouse button which allows you to zoom. And using these three buttons with the mouse, you can sort of navigate around. Another thing many users do all the time, of course, is they want to switch viewpoints. And of course, we have this little gizmo in the right-hand corner, which allows you to jump directly to any viewpoint. But there's a quicker way as well. We do this using the V key on the keyboard, which opens a pie menu. And you can just use it with sort of a gesture. If you move to the right, you go to the right, top, you go to the top, up here you go to the front and the bottom etc and as you get used to this it's actually really really quick it's just as fast as using the numpad now the next thing which is of course very common is you want to be able to focus in on a selection so we use two keys for this the a key and the f key for framing all or the selection so pressing f will focus in on this selected element and pressing the a key will sort of frame Every, all the objects in the scene. So in this case, we have the car and the camera. I can do a new selection, press F, and I'm zoomed back into the element. Now, to do basic transforms, we use the Q, W, E, R, and T keys on the keyboard, which are sort of nicely aligned in a row. It works like this, you'd select an object, in this case, press the W key, and you get the move gizmo, which you can pull to move the item. You can hit E, and you get a rotate gizmo, or you can hit R and you get the scale gizmo. Now one thing to keep in mind, which is uh, kind of neat, is that you don't actually have to click on these little handles to use the tools, because we have a very nice optimization. Um, let's say you have the move tool enabled, um, and you want to move the car, well you can just anywhere in the viewport, use the middle mouse button and drag, and it will move. The same thing uh, works for the rotate tool. You rotate in the viewport and it will just rotate around the view and for scaling as well of course. Pressing the Q key will switch back to the selection tool and you um, don't see the gizmos anymore. And you can very quickly sort of change tools just using the keyboard. Another nice little detail is that as you keep tapping the same key it will actually cycle the different uh, tool in that group so if you keep hitting Q it will keep switching selection tools. Here we have the lasso tool and the tweak tool and the same thing you can do for scale is if you keep hitting R it, it will cycle the different uh, scaling tools. How do you switch modes using this key map? Well this is one of the really nice things because you can jump directly to any mode using any of the numbers at the top of the keyboard. So if you press 1, you're in vertex mode, 2, edge, 3, face, 4, object, 5, sculpt, 6, in vertex paint, 7, weight paint, and texture paint, and so on and so on. So what happens if you press tab? 
well we use tab for searching which is uh, very handy so you just press tab and you get just like uh, you can start searching I'll find a subdivide and I can immediately subdivide or press tab again search for merge at center and I've done my merging setting a keyframe we do with the S key a nice thing is that it just sets the key immediately you don't have to get like a pop-up every time so you just set a key move forward in time set a new key and Im immediately it's set uh, set the keyframes and you can see it's moving we use the X and B keys for snapping and proportional editing which is of course often known as soft selection in other applications so if I just zoom in here I can enable snapping with the X key I'm going to set it to vertex snapping and sort of just start to snap to uh, any other vertex and you can see how it snapped uh, I can demo the B key I've enabled the proportional editing feature and now when I transform an element it will sort of pull with it uh, other elements in the vicinity and you can adjust the size of the fall off with the mouse wheel if you want to increase or decrease the size of your selection you can use the up and down arrow keys directly so in this case I've got a selection and using the up arrow key I can increase or the down arrow key I can decrease the size of the selection renaming items we do with the return key which is sort of similar to how it works in the Finder or Adobe After Effects or other applications like that. So you just hit return and you can immediately type in a new name, in this case for this car. And it's really handy also, especially for bones in pose mode, where you can sort of quickly go through and rename lots of bones just by hitting return. You might ask yourself what about all the other commands in Blender what about for example merge vertices or it can be really anything well the idea with this key map is that it should be very easy to use and so you don't have to use hotkeys to do every single thing in Blender um, we have this nice context menu now in Blender which is sort of allows you to access pretty much any command in Blender just by right clicking and it, it, al it always depends on whatever context you're in so in this case I'm in vertex select mode and I can right click and get my merge vertices command or I can click on these vertices right click and it will bevel the vertices now one little uh, detail with the context menu is of course that it is context sensitive and it will behave differently depending on what mode you're in so if I go to edge select you can you can see that right clicking will allow you to bevel the edges whereas in vertex select it bevels the vertices and this using the one two and three keys you can then quickly jump between the different modes and get access to all the commands that you need in this case I'm doing a, an, an edge extrude and edge mode but in face select mode you are extruding the faces with this key map you can also access most of the tools in the toolbar um, using hotkeys so control E is extrude and you can just uh, enable the extrude tool and just use the gizmo to extrude control B is bevel um, etc and you can see what all the hotkeys are in their little tooltips uh, on the toolbar and you should be able to follow most uh, blender tutorials also when using this key map just make sure to use the context menu when they uh, want you to use any sort of a command or you can use tab to search for that command as well. Hopefully this little tutorial has given you a nice little overview of how to use this key map and uh, why it's useful and for who. And that's all. So happy blending.